Hey YouTube, this is Everett Trombley here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Astro Everett. Um, if you're new here and uh, you like the content that you see, uh, I'd love it if you'd uh, subscribe. And uh, I'm setting up here tonight. Um, it's uh, June 1st. It's, uh, it's pretty nice out, as you can see. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's supposed to supposed to clear up uh, video quality is probably not gonna be that good I'm doing it on my phone well my phone's actually pretty good but I mean um, yeah anyways um, if you're new to the if you're new to my channel um, this is my channel about astro photography astro imaging which basically I guess is the same thing <laughs> uh, visual astronomy and uh, is this is I'm just chronicling my journey uh, in the hobby um, but I just recently got a new mount and uh, I have a, uh, a Celestron 8SE, um, Nexstar 8SE, and uh, it came with an Altazimuth mount. You've probably seen it in, uh, in my other videos, but uh, last week I got a, uh, a new toy. I got a new mount. It is a uh, German Equatorial mount. Um, and it is a uh, Celestron C Gem Series One, and uh, they have the Series Two out now. But uh, yeah, uh, here it is. And there's there's my telescope, and there's my camera, and there's the there's the mount. So. I'm going to be, um, I got the scope and the mount set up, I'm going to be bringing my computer out here and uh, getting set up and I'm going to do a balance and all that and uh, get polar aligned here and hopefully uh, get some good images tonight. So I'll, uh, I'll check back with you in a little bit and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a, hopefully we'll have a good night of observing and imaging. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, uh, I'm back. It's been a, I guess, a few hours since I, uh, since I made that other part of the video. Anyways, uh, so tonight I'm going to be going after the uh, Pinwheel Galaxy again, and I'm also going to be doing the Iris Nebula. Uh, the Iris Nebula should be coming up um, in the east, and the Pinwheel Galaxy will pretty much be almost overhead. Um, so. I just got, got the computer set up a little bit. I uh, just got to bring out my wires and I'm going to do a uh, balance of the uh, optical tube on uh, the right ascension, like the, like the right ascension and declination, just to make sure that it's balanced. Uh, for astrophotography, using an EQ mount balance is, is key. So uh, I'm hoping to get out here hopefully by about 9.30. I think it's close to 7.30 or almost maybe 20, 20 to 8. But um, yeah, um, looking forward to having a good night. Oh, I'm going to be doing something a little different too. Um, with the Celestron EQ mounts, uh, they have a feature called All-Star Polar Align. Whereas if you're obstructed from the pole star... Uh, which is Polaris. It's a few degrees off of the North Celestial Pole, which is a, the exact um, North Pole. Um, yeah, it, uh, it. What this does is it. Um, it'll. Uh, it. You can do a portal alignment on any star. Um, first, you do a, a, a star alignment so that the mount knows where your telescope's pointing in the night sky. So it's going to do. Um, a couple in the west and a couple in the east, which is that way. Um, and then it does a couple in the west. Uh, now, when I say east and west, it goes like north, like it, it, it does one side of the sky, like one half of the sky, and then the other half of the sky. So it'll pick stars randomly. And then um, you can add calibration stars if you want, um, and they go uh, east to west. 
So, um, and then from what I've been uh, watching videos, uh, that's what happens. And then, uh, and then you pick a star that you want to align with. Um, you go to that star. You have the you have the mount. To take your telescope to that star, and then you align with it. And then you go back and um, you go to the setting on the hand controller. Um, All star polar align. There's a couple of other little menus that you got to uh, you got to navigate. But um, uh, once that's done, you got to gum. And once you get on that star, it will. And then you hit enter, it will slew away from that star, and then it'll slew back to that star where it thinks that star should be, uh, depending on the uh, um, depending on the uh, amount of air on your mount um, in degrees and hours and minutes, I believe. Um, and then what you do is you come down and you adjust these knobs here. These are your azimuth mounts or uh, azimuth bolts right here and here's your altitude right here you, you do you do that so then it's going to be different than what your actual altitude is um, so right now I'm set if I'm going to do a polar alignment on the pole star that's my altitude and then I would adjust with these knobs here going left and right to try and uh, find it in the polar scope which is right here so right in here um, I'm not gonna try to look up in there it'll be probably pretty hard but there's a little there's uh, like a little picture or um, yeah I guess more or less a picture of the uh, of the night sky in there uh, Polaris the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia and what you have to do is you have to rotate this axis or axis to line up with the uh, line the polar scope up with the night sky so I'm, I'm not going to try that tonight I did it the other night I'll see you in a few minutes okay so now I got everything hooked up uh, I got all my cables run and all that um, and now I'm going to do a balance so um, I was watching uh, a Dylan O'Donnell um, on uh, on YouTube and his preferred method of, of balancing is not doing this axis first, but doing the tube first. So that's unlocking the clutch and just rotating it. And if it drops, you know you're out of balance. Okay, that I, I did that. I did that. But I'm finding with this mount, I'm finding that the clutch the clutches are stick are a little bit sticky. Okay, well. Get to a certain Now it shouldn't it shouldn't fall on its own. So, okay. So that that one that one was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Ah, okay. See see how it fell there? Watch. Okay, that means it's a little bit back heavy. So what I'll do, is I'll put it back here. I'll lock the clutch. And I'll tighten the OTA clamp here. And I will move it forward ever so slightly. There. Just a little bit. good okay then I repeat the process I'll do it from this side see doesn't drop doesn't drop doesn't drop doesn't drop either way either in the back or the front so spin it around perfect cool all right that axis is balanced Okay, so now I I really <laughs> I really got to try and remember 
which one is the, the right ascension axis and which is the declination axis. If anybody watches this and they, they know, just, you know, shout out, uh, say, yep, yeah, you're right with this axis. And I think this is the right ascension that I just did. And this is the declination axis. So the part I'm going to balance right now. So again, I unlock the clutch. Make sure that you hold on to the, uh, the telescope because if it, if it decides to go, it's going to go. Okay. So watch, see how I'm holding onto it. I let go and it drops. That means I'm telescope heavy. So I put this back and where's the clutch? The clutch is right here. Okay. So then I got to move this counterweight down. Just, just a little bit and then try it again. Okay, so my goal here is to have it on this plane and not have it drop either way. Okay, so I'm still a little bit heavy on the telescope side. So I loosen this, drop it back down, tighten it up, okay, and do it again. There. Good. Okay, spin it around. Perfect. That's still a little bit heavy on that one side, but on, like when I'm facing the other side. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this weight down just a hair. Okay. Okay, let's see. Good. Yep. Balance that way. And it's balanced that way. Good. Yep, she's balanced. Okay, good. Okay, lock that clutch down. Make sure my index mark index marks. There's uh there's some index marks right here and right here. This one's at home position. This one's a little off. So I unlock the clutch. And I just line up those index marks, lock the clutch back in, and I'm and I'm ready to go. Um, now, if I find out that the all-star polar line isn't working to my liking, or I'm getting too much of a an error in a polar alignment, um, I'll just come back and I will polar align with the polar scope. Um, now, to open up that hole that I showed you in the front, you have to. You have to spin this 80 de or um, 90 degrees. I think that's 90 degrees. And yeah, 90 degrees. Just so, and then lock it. Just so that there's a hole. Actually, let me bring you. Let me bring you around to the front of the scope. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you can if you can see there, but there should be an opening. So here, let me unlock the clutch again. All right, and just, I don't know if you can see it, but there should be a hole there that opens up. See, yeah, it's right there, I can see it. So it opens up, and what that does is that gives the polar scope, it, it, goes, it goes right through the axis, right, right through the mount. So that way when you do polar alignment, um, your, it, it enables that polar scope to see. So, but uh, I don't know, as you can see, looks like it's gonna be a nice clear night. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something about that. I've been, I've been trying to 
burned some weeds that I took out of my garden and all that. So, but uh, anyways, I will uh, I will come back on here um, when I get outside and um, start doing the All Star Polar alignment. And I think I'm going to try and record that as well. I don't know how the quality is going to be because it'll be uh, when the sun's gone down and it'll be dark. But um, I'll try it and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Like like I said, this is all a uh, a learning experience and uh, I'm glad you're along with me I have to make a confession I am not good in front of the camera I'm really really not good in front of the camera that's why I'm saying uh, a lot um, but um, yeah I'm, I'm glad everybody's uh, everybody's with me on this journey and uh, I hope we learn something together so um, I'll be back in a little bit Hey everybody, I'm back out here. Um, it's dark and uh, I don't know if you can see me or not, but now I'm going to try and do my all-star polar align. Uh, sorry if the camera angle sucks, I'll try and uh, I'll try and move the camera around, but um, yeah, I got my computer set up with uh, astrophotography tool that runs my camera. Well, I can see whatever my camera sees in uh in astrophotography tool i'll uh, i'll show you here in a minute but um let me see if i can uh let me see if i can do this so i guess i have to do a star alignment first and then add some uh calibration stars and then go do uh and then select all star polar alignment from the uh from the options and uh go from there so i'm just gonna move my my power bank it's got a red light on it so that my eyes stay um, adjusted to the uh, to the to the night sky okay so I'm gonna go around to the other side of the telescope okay uh, hope you can see me yeah uh, looks like I'm in the frame if not actually I will a bit closer there we go okay so here's the hand controller and I'm going to press enter to begin alignment and the mount is at the index marks it's asking me to put them in the index marks and now it's asking me to put in the time, which is 22.11. Oh, this is pretty close. 22.11. 11. 2.0. Enter. Daylight savings time. Okay. Uh, the date is the 6th, so 0. Uh, zero six, yeah. Zero six oh one, okay. Zero six oh one twenty one. Enter. Okay, it says you probably can't read it, but it says two star two star line. So I'll hit enter. Okay, now it's gonna ask me it's just picking a star at random. Uh, I don't know which star it's gonna point to, but Let's see what happens. So it looks like it's turning around this way. And it looks like it's pointing <laughs> Looks like it's pointing at my house. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, I have a red dot finder on my on my scope, so I'm gonna actually just consult my planetarium software here, Stellarium, and I'm pointing probably. I guess no, I'm pointing south. Uh, oh, why did it do that? It does equatorial mode. No, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, something else. Oh, 
is pointing to that. It's pointing to the star in Virgo. Okay, which is uh, Specia, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but anyway. So I'm going to turn my red dot finder on and see how close I am. Ooh, I'm not even close. Okay, so I'm going to use my hand controller and I'm going to Okay. Now, I got it kind of in view. I'm in my planetarium software here. Okay, I just did APT. All right. Okay, there it is. It's in the field of view. So then what it does is it changes the slew rate to, uh, to slow it down so that I can get it centered. line. Okay, and now it's going to go to Pollux, which is over there. Okay, so um, it this might work. So I'm just going to put the hand controller back here. Go to Pollux. So now the telescope is slewing to Pollux, which is in uh, Gemini, I believe, the twins. See? Holy moly. Are you kidding? Wow, this, it just, it almost put it dead center. I kid you not. Here, actually, let's see. I don't know if you can see. There's Pollux right there. That is so cool. Okay, that's great. Oh, wow, this is, this is actually going pretty good so far. Okay, so now uh, it's in, uh, you know what, I'm just going to double check to make sure it's the right star, because Castor is right beside it. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get it before it goes behind the tree. Enter. I use direction pads to. as perfect as possible aligned now it's asking me if I want to do a calibration star which I want to do so it's gonna to go to Deneb which is right there I can see it so go to Deneb so I hope this video, I hope this part of the video comes out good, because this is, this is amazing. Actually, Deneb is, oh, okay, well, Deneb hasn't come up yet, by the looks of it. Oh, no. no it, oh, it's right there. It's, <laughs> okay, maybe I should shut up and let the mount do its thing. Okay. It's in the eyepiece. 
right. That's about as center as I'm going to get it. There. Align. Please wait. It's calibrating. OK. One calibration star has so hit an enter to do another calibration star. Rassel Haug, I, I have no idea where that is, but I'm gonna let the gonna let the mount go to it. Holy moly, this thing is accurate as heck. Like There it is. It's almost dead center. I can't believe this. This is going great. I just don't want to jinx it. <laughs> okay, so enter. All right, and no. Oh, damn. Wrong button. line. Okay, calibrating. So what this is doing is it's training the mount to know where it's pointing in the sky. So I'm going to add another calibration star. All right. Enter. Wow, it's getting close. It, the, the slewing is getting closer and closer. It's ridiculous. Okay. Okay, align. Calibrating, please wait. Okay, but it's moving. Okay, it moved a little bit, so I'm just going to reorient this. There. All right, add another calibration star. Alberio. I don't know if you can see the mount moving but <laughs> it's uh yeah it's it's in some trees <laughs> okay well that's not going to work so i go undo now it'll automatically pick another star because the star that it went to is obstructed. So it's picking Arcturus, which I believe is right up there. I don't know if you can see me pointing, but um, let's go to Arcturus. This is, this is awesome. This is this is so cool. But and here it comes into frame. 
Wow, it is so close to center. It is so close. I can't get over that. That's nuts. <laughs> Boy, I guess it really doesn't take much to get me uh, get me excited. <laughs> take of that what you will. Okay, I'll uh, enter to slow the slew speed down. Calibrating, please wait. Four calibration stars. Align successful. Okay, and now it's brought me back to the main menu. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to pick Arcturus. Uh, actually, I'll go, I think it's stars. Um, what menu? Stars. Oh, nope. Okay, so I'll go align. Alignment stars. I'll go down. Calibration stars. Polar align. Okay. Enter. Display align. Nope. Align mount. So that's what I want to do. I want to align the mount. So, um, align mount. Enter. Warning. Stars used for polar alignment should be away from the Eastern horizon. Okay, so go enter. Well, oh, I screwed something up. I think I screwed something up. Yep, I messed something up. Polar align. Align mount. I may have to turn the mount off just in case it's... What, what star did it pick? Obviously nothing because... Sync cancelled. Alright, I'll go back. See Gem ready. Oh boy. Okay. Stars. Oh crap. No. Okay, something. Darn it. Something happened. Um, yeah, something happened. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what happened. Something, something got messed up. Something got messed up. It, it, it didn't even give me a name of a star to go to. It gave me, it said packs and then a bunch of zeros and a one. Um, I don't know what happened. Shoot. Oh, darn it. Okay, I might have to do this all over again. Crap. Um, okay, here, let me try something. Uh... Menu, Utilities, 
calibrate mount home position go to home position so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually bringing it back to home position okay so I'm at the home position oh boy um, Oh man, okay, what do I do here? I'm gonna stop this until I figure this out and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, it took me a little bit, but I figured it out. I had to consult the manual. Um, <laughs> it says it's it says it's done. It's complete. It's completely polar aligned. Um, I, I guess... Uh, so I'm going to go, but here, I want to show you something. Uh, how do I, how do I switch the camera? I guess I can't. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but there's my error in my polar alignment. It's all zeros. It's like, there's no error. There's no error in azimuth. Or altitude. What? That's crazy. Like, they, they said this was, was accurate, but I didn't believe them. Like, well, not that accurate. They said this is just as accurate as a pole master. Um, <laughs> holy crap. Um, I'm, I'm blown away. I am completely blown away. But anyway, um, I'll come back and, uh, Wow, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm blown away here. Um, like, I'm completely polar aligned. Even though I'm pointing to another star, I'm completely polar aligned. This is nuts. Okay, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to try and take some test shots of uh, of something. And then, uh, and then I'll be back to give you an update. Hey, everybody. It's, uh... <laughs> It's a little late. Um, it's uh, six days later uh, from when I was out shooting, and uh, yeah, I just I haven't had time to uh, kind of wrap up the video, but uh, I'm pr I'm pretty happy with it. Um, like I said in the video, I'm not that great talking on camera. Uh, I'm doing everything without a script. This is just off off the cuff. Um, and, uh, and I made a couple of errors that I saw when I was editing the video. That's why you, uh, you saw text, um, saying about, uh, the, the declination and the right ascension, um, in a couple of spots. But, uh, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, yeah, this is <laughs> six days later and, uh, and finally, uh, finally got it, finally got it edited, Leh, if I could just talk. Um, but, um, I had a, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of inspiration for this video from, uh, another YouTuber I mentioned before. His name's Dylan O'Donnell. Uh, he has a, a YouTube channel. It's called Star Stuff. Um, I don't know why I didn't subscribe to him before, but uh, he's he makes some uh, he makes some really good videos. Um, he's 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 got a tagline that some people might think mm, I don't know about that one. But uh, but uh, I I think it's I think it's kind of funny because it's it's true um, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, his his uh, his tagline is uh, what is it again? Um, Everything, yeah, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die, I think. Something like that. But he he says it, he says it not to offend people. He says it not to piss people off. He just, it, it's true. Um, in the grand scheme of things, uh, you know, it, 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 all, it all ends in the end, I guess. So I guess that's the point he's maybe trying to get, uh, get across. I don't know. But um, I think his videos are really good. Um, but... Uh, I'm glad you stuck around. This is uh this is a quite a long video. Um it's uh 
just just the polar and polar alignment part was well over 30 minutes so um if you stuck it out this long and you made it to the end um you have my deepest appreciation and uh i hope that um i'm not as long getting a video back out there um i try and do this in the pockets of my time um between work and you know doing stuff at home and all that so uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and like it um if you like the channel i would uh, i would great, greatly appreciate it if you uh subscribed and hit the notification bell for when new content comes out uh like i said i'm gonna try and um i'm gonna try and uh, get some some new stuff out uh with not such a long space in between videos um I've, I've even had friends and family say hey come on you got to make a new video you got to make a new video so here we go but anyway um i'll talk to everybody later and uh i'm i'm thinking of using a tagline uh myself at the end of my videos there's two that i want to use um i'm just thinking uh i'm just i'll pass it by you in the next video i might do a poll and see what everybody thinks if you could leave a comment in the next video that would be great or you can comment in this video too please by all means feel free to comment on the what you liked about the video what you didn't like about the video because that helps me grow as a youtuber so um i'll just uh i'll end it here and i'll just end it with the tagline clear skies thanks a lot see y'all later